this is making ginger ale. Forgive the white shirt, there was bleach involved. So, step one. You in the ginger ale? What? There's bleach in the ginger ale? <laughs> no, that's for the bottle and the equipment. It has to be sterilized, so there was bleach. So, step one. Put the sugar in the bottle using our homemade paper funnel. How much sugar? One cup of sugar. <laughs> Sugar's a little chunky. There we go. You get all the problems worked out with your homemade funnel. You add one fourth of a teaspoon of granulated yeast into the sugar. Then you shake to mix the yeast with the sugar. pre-grated the ginger because I'm very good at grating my fingers with the grater. So there you have about a tablespoon and a half of grated ginger to which you can, if you choose, add the juice of some sort of citrus fruit. We're going to do an entire lemon. Watch for squirting lemon juice. Oh, no. Alright, after you have your lemon juice stirred up, make sure there are no seeds, which someone was supposed to get out beforehand. and then stir it to make a ginger lemon slurry. Then, using the homemade funnel again, a thick paper is recommended, add the ginger slurry into the bottle. some cold water to the measuring cup to rinse all the ginger in. Then add this through the funnel. And hope that it doesn't leak. ginger and lemon rinsed out and you can finish adding the water to the bottle You want to leave about an inch at the top of the bottle. That way you can mix the sugar in with the water. Then screw the lid on tightly. And shake to mix all the sugar. Once the sugar is dissolved, put it in a warm sunny place for 24 to 48 hours. And when it's done, you can check to see that it's carbonated by pressing your thumb into the bottle, and if there's no gif, it's ready to go. Then put it in the refrigerator to stop the fermentation process, and you have delicious ginger ale.